You know what today is? Vlog day 88! Who knew? Gotta be careful. Safety first. What's up, Theo? I'm making breakfast. I haven't made breakfast with potatoes in a really long time, and I'm trying to figure out the order of operations here. Do I fry the bacon? and then the potatoes in the bacon fat with the onions, and then the eggs. I mean, as long as everything's cooked. I thought today was gonna be our press release day. Because we launch on a Wednesday, and so I thought the 1st of September was going to be a Wednesday, so I got the 1st of September and Wednesday conflated. So our press release goes out tomorrow about Boomerang. So I stayed up until like 2 in the morning last night, working on last minute fixes and getting everything going. And then, you know what? I've got more time. Which is great. So I don't know if you saw the dog thing uh, yesterday, Theo. I was told I only needed to feed them once a day. Um, and since they ran away from their food when I left, I, I don't know how much they actually ate and how much the neighborhood dogs ate because that third dog, that scraggly one, didn't belong there. And I think he might have figured out that, wait, there's food up the hill that's unguarded and I could have it if I want it. And then he took off. Because the other two stayed here all day and went running with me. There's a good chance that other dogs, uh, you know, had a free lunch on that one. So, I'm gonna go in the evenings, feed them, and then tell them to stay home. Theo, I don't know how much you're cooking right now, but uh, one thing you might discover at some point is that cooking for one is kind of a challenge, because I need to put a couple more eggs in this, but then I've got like a meal for two. Breakfast is easy right now because I have tons of breakfasty foods. This got cut from the uh, fairy chase last night, but basically I'm out of bread and tortillas and anything that would hold food together, you know, so kind of the lunch menu is what's really suffering right now because this is good for breakfast, I'm happy to do this, but I need a real textural change later. And I wasn't even gonna make a stir fry, uh, but I used all my chicken for shawarmas and there's also chicken on the ferry that didn't come. So bread, chicken, Tortillas, you know, everything that I was looking forward to switching it up. And then I spilled orange juice on myself. This is also basically a full-time job in and of itself. Well, not quite, maybe part-time. Ah! I might have to retire this tripod for a while. It's starting to get all melty on me. All right, this gave me a start too. Look. First I thought it was a tiny little frog. It is not a tiny little frog. I have no idea what it is though. Okay, blowing's not gonna work. Ah. It was definitely alive. Anyways, back to swapping tripods. Way better, yeah. It's just now three o'clock and raining. I've been working on unloading all of the social stuff because the press kit didn't go out. It gives me a little bit of time to like, kind of get the social media side of things moving, which social media for something like this does feel a little bit, I mean, you're starting from scratch. So you're just building with what you've got. But it's really nice to have a little bit of rain. It's been a little bit cooler the last couple of days and I think it's been helping with the mosquitoes. I've only been getting bitten a couple times a day, which has been, Awesome. Hey. Yeah, no, hey, come over here. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you're okay. Yeah, you can be up here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Nice, safe, warm place. I wonder how close she's been staying, because I don't see where she's lying half the time. But then something like this happens and she just pops right up. Yeah. 
great. It's like, <laughs> my goodness. I'm gonna come feed you. We'll get into a routine. And you'll get used to it. Yeah, I'm just gonna come feed you in the evening so you don't come down here like this. How can you not feel like a jerk when they're acting like this? Yeah, you're okay. I like three at once earlier, but it's 5.25 and the internet just died. So I'm gonna take that as my cue to go feed the dogs. I also haven't left the house yet today, so I probably should do that at some point. Like right now. I just don't want to encourage those dogs to stay here. I mean, they're basically the alarm system for the other house, so if they start living here, then that leaves the house exposed. Plus, it leaves all that food just lying around waiting to be eaten by others, which is what happened yesterday, which is why they were so hungry. Oh, man. I mean, I get it. Sometimes you just really want to be loved, and you're so desperate to be loved that you'd be willing to go hungry for the opportunity to get a little bit of love. But, I mean, come on. But if you're an island dog and there are literally dozens of other dogs who are just waiting for you to leave your food alone so that they can eat it, you should probably at least take the time to eat your food before you go running off for that opportunity for love because nobody wants to love somebody that's hungry and desperate. So at least take care of the hunger part and then, you know, the desperation might be able to be won over. Oh, yeah. But I mean, to be fair, what do I know? I'm not an island dog, so, you know, their priorities, their mess. Back to Simon's. Did you miss me? Dang it. One of these days. 